Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today we're playing the new survivor Felix on the Thompson house. I am playing in a swift today. Again, I'm playing with Freeze, Berserk, and Phoenix Saver. So I haven't played a whole lot of the new survivor. I'm running one of his new perks built to last, along with Ace in the Hole to find an item and use it and have it recharge. Because that's a pretty cool perk. Next up, we have Spine Chill and Adrenaline for the build. I mean, those are self-explanatory by this point. For both pretty good perks. I think I'm going to just try to find a gin off in the corner over here. Don't know what the killer is yet. Looks like Phoenix has found the killer, though. Maybe I can find a chest in the basement here. Hopefully nobody's already raided it. And looks like we got a chest. Let's see what we get out of here. Built to last is probably Felix's best perk. He, he doesn't have a lot of good perks, let's be honest. The devs kind of dropped the ball on this DLC. They gave killers really good perks. And they gave survivors really just awful perks. This is the only one that it has some use. And that sounds like an Oni. I believe that's Oni. Yeah, that looks like Oni. I'm going to pop on this gin here. I think I have a teammate right there in the uh, thick of it. It looks like Phoenix is in chase. So they're probably nearby. And there's our first gin done. And Freeze takes a hit there. We're not doing too bad. He did just get his power. So Oni is really dangerous when you give him his power. If they know how to play him, it's a death sentence. So he does get a, a down on Phoenix there. It looks like Freeze is waiting there to do the flashlight save. Now we just have to see whether or not he can actually get it. It looks like Oni has found him and kind of whiffs there. Can he make it out of there without dying? That's the question. And Freeze goes down. So now we have two down. This is kind of bad. You don't want to be in a situation like this. But I did get that gin done. We're two gins down. I don't know where Berserk is at the moment. I'm going to watch what Oni does here and maybe try to go in for the save. Actually, he might see my scratch marks. Let's see if we can uh, bait him out. He's waiting. He is uh, scared about that pallet. He knows I'm here, so I might as well run. Not a whole lot I can do. I'm going to take a hit. Let's see. Does he go for the pickup? He is going for the pickup. I'm going to go here. If he walks toward the hook, nope. I don't want to unhook because then I'll just hook freeze. Give him a second. Again, he comes back, so I'm not going to unhook. And Berserk gets the unhook. That's fine by me. We made him walk to a different hook. Maybe Freeze? Nah, I was going to say, maybe Freeze can wiggle. But that was a little much, I think. Now he activates his power. Where is he going to come? You going to chase me up here, big boy? This is not a place you want to chase me. I know how to run this. Let's see. Uh, I think he turned back around. And he does not want to play the Combine. He probably could have got me there, I would guess. I'm going to heal up here and then go in for the save. Knowing Oni, they like to go back to hooks, so he's probably going to be headed back this way. He just started a dash, and there he goes. I don't think he expected me to heal. He thought I would just run straight back. Sadly, this could cause Freeze to go into second stage. This actually happens to Freeze quite a bit, and it's not real fun. He's kind of, like, cursed. And actually, I didn't realize he was right next to me. Wow. Okay, he's seen me. They did get him unhooked, I think, before struggle phase. Let's see how he plays this. I should get this window. Ooh. It tickled my, uh, my coat there. My suit jacket. Phoenix is on a gin here, so I think I will join him. It looks like 
Freeze is in chase again. And it also looks like the killer has Nemesis. Which is an interesting perk. It's one of Oni's perks. I'll throw that up for you guys to read and check out. And it sounds like Oni was coming this way, but he's not. He's actually still... Ch he's chasing Berserk now. Just He just got pallet stunned, and now Berserk's the obsession. Oh. Alright, so we only have one gen left. He, uh... He's struggling a little bit. I don't know where he's going. I don't think anybody's over there. Oh, he's coming after me. Watch out, watch out. This is not the place you want to be. I don't know. If he, he got a little confused there. He got a little bit confused there. Let's see what he does. He looks like he left me, actually. Actually, no, he's, he's coming back. I think he's chasing somebody else. I'm just going to sit on this gin. And Spine Chill Show, he's, he's looking this way. Is he going to chase me? No, he wants Freeze. I don't know how that wasn't a stun, but whatever. That should have been a stun, I think. His power is gone, so now he's significantly less dangerous. I'm just going to run. I'm not going to play that window. Sounds like somebody just broke the totem there. I believe that was Freeze. He's gonna get a hit here. Oh, never mind. He gets 180. You know, that doesn't usually work, but it was just enough to throw him off there. We're gonna run upstairs and see if we can do some kind of cool mind game. He's gonna get me here. There's about nothing I can do, actually. And I did not know Berserk was up here. I did not know it. Sorry, Berserk. Kind of pushed you off this gin. We see Phoenix working on a gin over there in the corner. Which is nice. Freeze is in the cornfield. Picking some corn cobs for dinner later. I'm guessing Oni's gonna come back up here. And that gin should actually get done in the corner. It's been long enough. It's gonna pop here any second. Especially when Freeze gets on it. He wastes time. He shouldn't have kicked that generator. It had no progress. That's a mistake you can make as killer. Don't do what he just did. He should have hooked and then ran. Because that gen is going to get done now. And there you have it. The gen is done. And let's see. I am not in a good position here. Especially now that Oni is coming back. He's got his power. He's face camping me. Giving me the nods. Phoenix jumps in a locker, probably for head-on. And it looks like he's actually going to go after Freeze here. Phoenix hops out for the save. I'm going to run and drop down the hole here. I have adrenaline. And you see Oni is right below me. Hopefully he does not hear that. And I can get out and counter-rotate around this way. Oh, well, that could, yeah, I'm going to go back this way. Run, run, Freeze, run. That's not what you want to see going around a corner. Let's split up. So he has to make a decision who to chase. It looks like he is chasing Freeze. So I'm home free. Now Freeze did get wounded there. So that probably means he did not hold his M1. Otherwise that would have been an instant down. This door is 99. Berserk was uh, the man to take care of that. And now we just gotta wait and see what happens with Freeze. It looks like Freeze is gonna go down here. And sadly, Freeze is getting morried. Yes, there is a Mori in this match. So it looks like only three of us are going to be escaping the Oni. But anyways, on to the next match. And it looks like we're on the Fractured Cow Shed, a Cold Wind map again. I don't mind, I like Cold Wind. It's usually pretty uh, decent maps for survivors. And now Freeze is being a little bit of a uh, butthole here. He knows I want that chest. And he actually just baited it. Nice use of Sprint Burst, Freeze. And also thank you for not, uh, you know, stealing my chest. 
I have ace in the hole. I want a good item. Let's hope for something that's not a med kit. It's, it's a brown med kit. Yay. How wonderful. I'm so excited about that. Playing with the same Survivor with Friends, Berserk, Freeze, and Phoenix. So thank you again, guys, for joining me in this uh, gameplay here. We do play together quite often, and we usually have a pretty good time. We do play quite a bit on stream. Usually Freeze and Berserk are always with me. Phoenix jumps in here and there. So if you like seeing this Survivor with Friends gameplay, jump over to the stream. We don't do comms. I just play uh, and stream it, and we just play together. So check out the Twitch channel down below in the uh, description there. Anyways, we get our first gen done, and Freeze is taking off. I think he's a Lori main. Don't tell anybody, but I think Freeze is a Lori main. And he's going to go ahead and 99 that, I'm assuming. Because he's a nice guy. He won't steal it when I can get a better item out of it. Yeah, see, he 99'd it. What a nice guy. And actually, that's a pretty good... Uh, toolbox and also freeze i saw what you did there i saw what you did there that's that's pretty damn nasty to try to steal my item from behind the box right after i say you're a pretty nice guy now i am using both the last tier because this toolbox is really nice so i figured it was worth using it on it's recharged to well it would be 50 percent. i think it's 40 percent at level two but still, that's a lot of repair value out of one toolbox. You only get to recharge one time in a match, but it's still worth it. And now we have probably the second most powerful killer in the game, the Spirit. She's kind of difficult to play against. If you want to see more Spirit gameplay, I actually play a Spirit in one of my recent videos, so check that out. I'll put a card up above in the top right corner. Looks like she's going after Freeze, so I'm going to get Berserk off the ground here. And she sees she's coming in for the thing. I will take a hit. She wanted Berserk, and she can't have him. Let's see how Berserk plays that. He's actually playing it pretty good. Spirit misplaying that. Um, I'm kind of... What is going on there? I'm confused now. I picked up my med kit again, so now I can heal myself and just hop on a gin. Berserk is still in chase here. And, you know, looking at these layouts, I don't think I want to do that gin. That could end up in a three gin for us. I think I want to do this middle gin right here. Something a little close to the middle so we can spread out the remaining gin just a little bit. You always want to think about what gins you're doing and how close they are together. If you're doing something that's going to 3-gen you, break off and get a different gen. Spirit was, uh, must have heard me or something. Let's see if she's actually going to commit to chasing me. It doesn't look like she is. She must have found somebody else. She just wanted to push me off. Gen number three pops right there in the barn. And there's Phoenix. So we'll just stack up here. Phoenix again is running no mither because he is a madman. I, I've never liked the perk. I'll probably make a video of running no mither at some point and it'll just be me dying. I, uh, I have enough trouble staying alive with two health states. I have enough trouble hitting skill checks, as you can see. That's, uh, that's never going to change, probably. Let's, let's be honest. Berserk does go down here. And it looks like Freeze gets the flashlight save. Freeze is known for his flashlights. And I gotta say, Freeze and Berserk, they play with some pretty bad ping. Because they do not live by me. They live quite a distance away from me. So they usually have pretty bad ping when they're playing with me on my servers. So the fact that they can get flashlight saves and loop as effectively as they do just speaks to their skill and phoenix we're not we're, we won't say much about him but he's a god he's a he, he can loop a killer with no mither better than i can loop a killer you know with full health i gotta give props to the team 
I mean, I can do some good looping here and there, but some of the stuff these guys pull off is just nutty. It looks like we're going to get this last gin done. I do know there is Rancor. As Berserk did let me know that in voice comms. And there's Berserk going down, and we accidentally popped this. I say accidentally, only because Berserk's gonna die now. You see, he's on the ground, and since uh, the killer can just mori him with Rancor, he's, he's gonna die. It looks like Phoenix goes down, probably trying to keep Berserk alive, but there is the mori right there. Goodbye, Berserk. Phoenix has no mither, so he can get himself back up, which I am assuming he's about to do. Maybe three of us can make it out of this one alive. And that looks like he got picked up, and Freeze got another flashlight save. spirit coming so I'm just gonna jump into the exit she's not actually gonna hit me out so I'm gonna heal up a little bit here maybe we maybe just try to get her attention off of the teammates and on to hitting me out she's phasing again I want to make sure I'm real close to the exit she's probably gonna try to knock me out there you go she was trying to knock me down the other direction so that she could pick me up Kind of outplayed her there. Let's see what happens in the end here. Phoenix is out and Freeze is moving in for the exit. So there you go. That is a three man escape. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.